The uh, Governor Or Orville Faubus, the governor of Arkansas, had activated the Arkansas National Guard uh, to essentially keep the Little Rock Nine from going to uh, from attending school. Uh, President Eisenhower uh, making wanting to make sure that the Little Rock and, and the governor of Arkansas complied with the Supreme Court ruling called Brown versus Board of Education, federalized the Arkansas National Guard and deployed the 101st uh, unit, one of our five airborne battle groups, which was known then as the 1st Airborne Battle Group, 327th Infantry, deployed them to Little Rock. And what they did, they did a number of different things. They, uh, put a, they established a perimeter cordon around the school uh, using barricades and a soldier spaced every three feet all the way around the perimeter of the school. And then the purpose of that was to keep any uh, people who were trying to get onto the school grounds who weren't supposed to be there, to keep them off. And simply put, they would escort the Little Rock Nine to school every morning, escort them through the cordon of soldiers uh, blocking access to the Little Rock Central High School grounds, and then escort them to the front doors of the school. And uh, all the day while the students were in school, uh, they would uh, provide perimeter security. And they had a, a, a small reserve soldiers uh, there, a uh, small reserve complement of soldiers whose job it was was to reinforce any uh, areas where um, potential uh, troublemakers might have gotten through on the school grounds. And as it turned out, with the deployment of the Screaming Eagles to, uh, to Little Rock, the situation stabilized very quickly.